what's the crack welcome to today's episode my name is david kelly i'm the irish guy vlogs and today is my first birthday and i know that's a little bit confusing but on january 3rd 2019 i started my youtube channel and today is january 3rd 2020 so it's technically my first birthday and then two days later on january 5th i posted my very first youtube video which was the first part of my christmas in sweden videos it's strange because it feels like really long ago but it also feels like it was only yesterday it's like because so much has happened in between Gen last January and now uh, it just it's kind of all a, like a blur it's weird and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way you know when they look back at their year it's kind of like oh it did really go by pretty fast but it's kind of strange because it, it's like because I've been doing a video like almost every single week for the past year it's kind of like my life has been broken down into episodes you know so it's it's odd but it's it's cool as well I don't know how to explain it fully, but yeah, when I look back at my first video, <laughs> like, you, uh, like I look completely different, you know, I'm literally like the opposite of what I look now, you know, I have a full beard, full head of hair, like I look like I'm like 20 in my first video and like naive and like I, I've even put weight on since then, like, you know, and I wanted to lose weight like in 2019, but I've gone the opposite way and I've put weight on, so whatever. Whatever. But I'm going to do a recap of 2019. So it was an interesting year. There was ups and downs and it was just pretty busy for me. And when I look back at it, it's like, what did I do? But like, you know, I did so much, but I feel like in between it all, there was like not a whole lot going on. So it's kind of weird as well in that sense, you know, where it's like, I know I did lots, but I didn't as well. You know, I didn't do as much as I wanted. I think that's probably the thing that I'm trying to get at. Is that I had goals in 2019 and I didn't achieve them. So and, and that's so just that's just how it goes. So I'm gonna do a recap of 2019. You know, I spent last Christmas in Sweden, I made some gingerbread, I went to a laser show, then I went to Stockholm, and then after that I almost broke my legs. Yeah, that that was really, really painful. And then I went to Amsterdam and I saw some dead people. And then I met some meatballs, and then Cecilia visited from Sweden, and then we did some exploring and a road trip around Ireland. And then I started my Read Your Local Landscaping course, and I did a video on the aqua park that popped up in Kilrush. Bought a new phone, and then I released my first bit of freelance work uh, for Considines. Then I got very angry with the SAS airline. I had to relax a little bit, so I talked about sharks. <laughs> and then I went on a tour of Scatter Island, which was awesome. After that I went to Loop Head Lighthouse with my friend Marie who was walking around Ireland. I made some music with my pocket operator and then Donald Trump came to Ireland so I made a video about that. I did more of my history course and then I accidentally bought a 1300 euro drone and yeah that, that really happened. The week after that I celebrated my first 100 subscribers which uh, was awesome. Uh, that was like <laughs> probably one of the best days of the year honestly that was that was really really cool after that i did my sneaking into the irish open video in lehinch which i think is still my most popular video to date uh so thanks to everyone for watching and uh yeah i love that video <laughs> it's just like i have to do more stuff like that i don't really want to do more sneaking in videos but i want to do things like that where it's kind of like i don't know you know where it's like a bit tense and like will he won't he do it kind of thing you know so the week after that i got my first copyright claim which i haven't heard anything about since which is weird and then face app exploded on the scene and i tried to make myself as old as possible that's stuff of nightmares to be honest <laughs> i took a trip to the flag hole in Ennis, and then the week after i started doing some geocaching but there was still one geocache that i didn't find so i'm gonna have to go back and explore that place again that was followed by the marquee by the sea festival where i got to meet and interview de Laurentos, brezzi liam geddes and it was a really really great weekend and after that i got a bit nostalgic and i looked back at my first short film uh, dark talk which really has a special place in my heart uh, the week after that i made and hid my first geocache which i actually need to do an update video on so uh, yeah that'll be coming at some stage and then conor mcgregor beat up a guy in a pub in dublin so i obviously had to make a video about that because he's a scumbag week after i did a tour of my room and then i brought my nephews for a stroll in the woods which is honestly my favorite video to date i loved making that video it was just such a laugh and i do want to make more videos with my nephews so you will see more of them this year and then the week after i explained how i'm technically a billionaire and then sadly the week after i failed my driving test and yeah so i do hope to complete it this year at some stage so we'll see please the driving gods please but it really sucked to fail so next time 
I hope they nail it. In October I got a bit historical and I did a video on the little arc and then I started planning my bigger geocaching project uh, which is coming at some stage this year as well. And then I talked about the blood sucking dwarf king wizard that inspired the story behind Dracula. The week after that I didn't cut my hand, I was testing out some uh, special effects makeup. The week after I burnt a mouth off myself with flaming hot cheetos which I'm still like mentally scared from and also I have like 50 bags of them if any of you want some let me know in the comments. After that I went to the Museum of Irish Life in Mayo, I did a top 5 pros and cons of living in Ireland, I started volunteering at a radio station, I made a Christmas video, I made it behind the scenes of the Christmas video and now it's 2020, brand new year and I'm making this video. And breathe. So I have like 61, 62 videos now, and even in between all these videos, there were other videos that never got to see the light of day. I did like a St. Patrick's Day video, which just didn't turn out right. I did the puzzle video, which wasn't great. Maybe someday you get to see them, and I just wasn't happy with them. And it's not that I have like a very high standard of, of work, you know, but it's just the feeling that I got from they just didn't work. And, you know, if I get that vibe, I just don't like to put it on my channel because... Uh, just wasn't interesting and that's the thing that I have to learn you know where most of those videos I was actually doing because I was like oh people will like these you know I wasn't doing them because I think I like these you know and that's kind of what I want to do is like I, I think that when people see that I'm interested and I'm passionate about certain things that they'll want to and that they'll want to subscribe and they'll want to watch because I am passionate about certain things you know and they're the kind of videos that I want to make like filmmaking and things like that so I think it doesn't really matter if I'm making videos for certain people I want to make them for myself and I think then people will follow a long because they'll see that I'm really passionate about what I'm doing you know hopefully that's the plan anyway so hopefully I'm correct in what I'm thinking it's crazy the thing that I started a year ago today I have almost 300 subscribers I have over 16,000 views on my channel I have over 60 videos and like I never like obviously I wanted to have the 60 videos but like I never really thought that I never really thought that I'd be able like that I'd be happy with like that I'd be happy time and time again with what I was doing but the more I learn the more I want to learn and the more I get the more kind of avenues I see opening up ahead of me which is really really nice I've always wanted to make short films and I've always wanted to make documentaries and stuff like that but I've always kind of thought like oh well you need like tons and tons of money you need tons of crew you need all this kind of stuff and now the more I get into YouTube and the more I realize that I can actually make videos by myself or I can make videos with friends like with little crews, with little money, but it just takes a little longer. And I have an audience waiting to see those videos, which kind of takes that little bit of weight off your shoulders when you know that people are going to watch it, people are probably going to appreciate it, and people are going to give you feedback on it. And I think that's the most important thing, is learning from my mistakes and what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and, and over the past year, I'm actually being really conscious of it today, over the past year, a couple of people have said to me, you're very handsy. Like you use your hands a lot and my explanation to them is that you can only see from here so like I, if I'm like like I'm moving my hands now like crazy and you can barely see so I have to have my hands up here if I'm going to like <laughs> explain you know what's kind of going on what, what, but yeah like <laughs> yeah I, so I'm going to try and be less handsy no that's, that sounds bad um, I'd be trying I, I don't know I don't know this is just how I talk <laughs> And this is kind of just what I've gotten used to over the past year of like talking like this. I think hands go a good bit in explaining things. Maybe I'm part Italian, like I talk with my hands, which uh, whatever. I'll try and work on it. But that's another thing, I'm a work in progress, you know. Like I said, I put on weight, I plan to lose weight. Like, you know, sometimes things don't work out and you just have to reassess and go again, you know. And especially at the start of a new year, I'm not getting into the whole new me, new year bullshit. It's like, but it's, I always see it as another opportunity to start again, and that's like, every day is basically another opportunity to get it right, you know? So yeah, I think 2020 should be good, it should be more positive, it's gonna be more creative, hopefully, as well. I want to travel more in 2020 as well, but like, I have the dilemma of, if I travel, then I don't have money to make videos, but like, if I travel, I can make videos while I'm traveling, but are they more interesting than the videos that I would be able to make if I was here at home? I am gonna look more into funding as well this year, I'm trying to get funding from, like, uh, creative arts boards and places like that and approach them and say listen I have this idea for a certain type of video can you please give me some money to make it because that's kind of what I need to do the ideas that I have are bigger than my wallet so you know I have to go to other people so hopefully 2020 will bring some of that stuff my way and uh, yeah we'll see and if you know any competitions or any boards any arts boards that are offering grants to make documentaries or films or anything like that please let me know down in the comments they'd have to be based in Ireland I guess but um, I know of a few but I know there's always ones out there that I miss 
so yeah if you know any let me know down below but i really do want 2020 to be the year of making bigger videos bolder ideas on topics that i love talking about and sharing i think that's really really important so thank you for being there in 2019 and i hope you stick around and see where this journey takes us because i still don't really have a clue what i'm doing you know and that's kind of half the fun anything could happen and sure you might as well join me if uh, if you're not up to anything else i don't really know what to say like i'm not celebrating my first birthday in style like i don't have a party hat i don't have stream or balloons or poppers or anything like that i'm just thankful with the progress thankful that my subscribers have been so awesome and i'm just thankful to have 60 videos up online where last year i had none and just to have that stream of content and to have that that thing to do every week has just been pushing me so yeah and I'm really, really tired as well, and I've kind of got a bit of a cold. You might be able to hear it in my voice. But that is going to be it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. A happy new year to you. I hope 2020 is going to be awesome for you. I'm going to have new videos every week, and I'm going to try and stick to that. I'm hopefully going to have some weeks more than one video. There might be like two or three parts to certain videos. So yeah, stick around, and we'll see how 2020 unfolds. Really appreciate you watching. If you're new to my channel and you like my content, don't forget to subscribe down below make new videos every friday and yeah i will see you all again next week bye